Cetacosaurus 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 means parrot lizard. Can you guess why? That's right. It had a beak, just like a parrot. The Cetacosaurus was about the size of a bicycle, it stood closer to the ground, like a big dog. Cetacosaurus loved to eat plants. Imagine it munching on leaves, seeds, and all sorts of tasty green things. What made the Cetacosaurus really cool was its beak. Just like a parrot, it had a strong, curved beak that helped it bite into tough plants. And guess what? Some of these dinosaurs even had tiny, bony horns on their cheeks, making them look a bit like they were ready for action. But wait, there's more! Cetacosaurus had something really special on its tail, bristle-like structures. These bristles might have been used to show off or to keep other dinos away. Can you imagine a dinosaur with a bristly tail? Dilophosaurus Dilophosaurus About 193 million years ago. During the early Jurassic period, there lived a dinosaur called Dilophosaurus. Its name means two-crested lizard because it had two cool curved crests on its head. Dilophosaurus wasn't the biggest dinosaur, it was about 20 feet long, which is like two cars parked end to end. This dino walked on two legs and was a fast runner. It was a meat eater with sharp teeth and claws to catch its food. The most amazing thing about Dilophosaurus is those crests. Scientists think they use the crests to attract mates or to communicate with each other by making loud calls. So, that's the Dilophosaurus, a speedy, meat-eating dinosaur with two awesome crests on its head. Dinosaurs are so fascinating, aren't they? Woolly Mammoth Woolly Mammoth Thousands of years ago during the Ice Age, there lived a giant creature known as the Woolly Mammoth. These amazing animals looked a lot like today's elephants but were covered in thick, shaggy hair to keep them warm in the freezing cold. The woolly mammoth was enormous. It stood about 11 feet tall, which is as tall as a two-story building. It had long, curved tusks that could grow up to 15 feet long. These tusks were not only impressive but also useful for digging through snow and fighting off predators. Woolly mammoths love to eat grass, leaves, and other plants. Imagine them roaming the icy tundra, munching on their favorite snacks to stay strong and healthy. One of the coolest things about woolly mammoths was their thick fur coat. This coat had a layer of fat underneath to help keep them warm during the coldest days. They also had small ears compared to today's elephants, which helped them conserve heat. Sadly, woolly mammoths went extinct about 4,000 years ago, but scientists are always learning more about them through fossils and other discoveries. So, that's the story of the woolly mammoth, a giant, furry creature of the Ice Age, with long tusks and a warm coat. Aren't they fascinating? Truden. Truden. Say hello to Truden. This small, bird-like dinosaur lived around 77 to 70 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous period. Truton was about 2 meters, 6.5 feet, long, roughly the length of a bicycle, and was very smart with large eyes for seeing in the dark. It hunted small animals and could run very fast. Truton went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, Truton had one of the largest brains relative to its body size of any dinosaur. Apatosaurus Apatosaurus Say hello to Apatosaurus. This gentle giant roamed the Earth around 150 million years ago, during the late Jurassic period. Apatosaurus was one of the largest dinosaurs, reaching lengths of up to 21 to 23 meters, 70 to 75 feet, about as long as three city buses, and weighing as much as 20 to 30 tons, similar to the weight of four to five elephants. It had a long neck, perfect for reaching high leaves. Sadly, Apatosaurus went extinct along with other dinosaurs around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, Apatosaurus means deceptive lizard because its bones were once confused with another dinosaur. Tyrannosaurus Rex Tyrannosaurus Rex Meet the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex, also known as T. Rex. 
This fearsome predator lived around 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. T. rex was about 12 to 13 meters, 40 to 43 feet, long, roughly the length of a school bus, and weighed around 9 tons, similar to the weight of an adult African elephant. It had a huge head filled with sharp teeth and was one of the most powerful dinosaurs that ever lived. T. rex went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, the name Tyrannosaurus rex means Tyrant Lizard King. Parasaurolophus Parasaurolophus. Meet Parasaurolophus. This dinosaur, known for its long, curved crest, lived around 76 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Parasaurolophus was about 10 meters, 33 feet, long, roughly the length of a small bus, and weighed around 2.5 tons, similar to the weight of a large SUV. It used its crest to make loud sounds, helping it communicate with others in its herd. Sadly, Parasaurolophus went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, the name Parasaurolophus means near-crested lizard. Triceratops Triceratops Meet Triceratops This dinosaur lived around 68 to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Triceratops was about 9 meters, 30 feet, long, roughly the length of a school bus, and weighed around 6 to 12 tons, similar to the weight of 2 to 3 cars. It had three horns on its face and a large bony frill. Triceratops used its horns and frill for defense and to show off to other dinosaurs. It went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, Triceratops means three-horned face. Spinosaurus Spinosaurus Meet Spinosaurus This large predator lived around 112 to 93 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Spinosaurus was one of the biggest meat-eating dinosaurs, growing up to 15 meters, 49 feet, long, about the length of a semi-truck. It weighed around 7 to 20 tons, similar to the weight of 3 to 7 elephants. It had a sail-like structure on its back and a long, crocodile-like snout for catching fish. Spinosaurus went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, Spinosaurus is the only known dinosaur that spent most of its time in water. Saber-toothed cat Saber-toothed cat Meet the saber-toothed cat. This fierce predator lived during the Ice Age, around 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. Saber-toothed cats, like Smilodon, had long, curved canine teeth and were powerful hunters. They were about the size of a modern lion but much heavier, weighing around 220 to 400 kilograms, 485 to 880 pounds, about as heavy as a grand piano. They went extinct likely due to climate change and the loss of their prey. Fun fact, saber-toothed cats weren't actually tigers, but their long teeth made them look very fearsome. Pterodactyl Pterodactyl Say hello to Pterodactyl. This flying reptile soared through the skies around 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. Pterodactyls had large wingspans of up to 10 meters, 33 feet, about the width of a small airplane, and a long beak filled with sharp teeth for catching fish. They went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, pterodactyls are actually a type of pterosaur, and the name means winged finger. Ankylosaurus Ankylosaurus Meet Ankylosaurus this armored dinosaur lived about 70 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Ankylosaurus was like a prehistoric tank, measuring around 6 to 8 meters, 20 to 26 feet, long, about as long as a pickup truck. Covered in bony plates and spikes, it had a club-like tail to defend itself from predators. Fun fact, Ankylosaurus had a beak-like mouth that helped it munch on tough plants. Sarcosuchus Sarcosuchus. Say hello to Sarcosuchus. This giant prehistoric crocodile lived around 112 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. 
Sarcosuchus could grow up to 12 meters, 39 feet, long, about the length of a school bus, and weighed around 8 tons, similar to the weight of two adult elephants. It lived in rivers and could catch dinosaurs for dinner. Sarcosuchus went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period. Fun fact, Sarcosuchus is sometimes called Super Croc because of its enormous size. Stegosaurus Stegosaurus Say hello to Stegosaurus. This dinosaur lived around 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. Stegosaurus was about 9 meters, 30 feet, long, roughly the length of a school bus, and weighed around 3 to 4 tons, similar to the weight of an SUV. It had large, bony plates along its back and a spiked tail for defense. Stegosaurus went extinct at the end of the Jurassic period. Fun fact, Stegosaurus had a tiny brain, only about the size of a walnut. Megalodon Megalodon Say hello to Megalodon. This enormous prehistoric shark ruled the oceans around 23 to 3.6 million years ago during the Miocene and Pliocene epochs. Megalodon was one of the largest and most powerful predators, with teeth as big as a grown-up's hand. It could grow up to 18 meters, 59 feet, long, about the length of a semi-truck. Megalodon went extinct likely due to changes in ocean temperatures and the decline of its prey. Fun fact, Megalodon means big tooth in Greek. Gecolopterus Gecolopterus Meet Gecolopterus this giant prehistoric sea scorpion lived about 390 million years ago during the Devonian period. Gecolopterus was one of the largest arthropods ever, growing up to 2.5 meters, 8 feet, long, about the size of a small kayak. It lived in water and had large claws for catching fish and other sea creatures. Fun fact, Gecolopterus is named after German paleontologist Otto Jekyll. Plesiosaurus Plesiosaurus Say hello to Plesiosaurus. This long-necked marine reptile swam through the oceans about 200 million years ago during the early Jurassic period. Plesiosaurus was around 3.5 meters, 11.5 feet, long, about the size of a small motorboat, with a small head but a very long neck. It used its four flippers to glide through the water. Plesiosaurus went extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, Fun fact, Plesiosaurus means near lizard, and some people think it inspired the legend of the Loch Ness Monster. Velociraptor Velociraptor Say hello to Velociraptor. This small but incredibly fierce predator roamed the Earth around 75 to 71 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Although Velociraptor was only about 2 meters, 6.5 feet, long, roughly the length of a bicycle, it was a fast and agile hunter. With its sharp claws and bird-like feathers, Velociraptor could swiftly chase down its prey, often hunting in packs to increase its chances of success. Unlike the scaly versions you see in movies, real Velociraptors were covered in feathers, giving them a somewhat bird-like appearance. Sadly, Velociraptor went extinct around 65 million years ago. Fun fact, the name Velociraptor means swift thief, which is a perfect fit for this speedy, cunning dinosaur. <laughs>